Josephine Ashe is a woman with a cause. She started an online petition earlier this year appealing to government to regularize the use of fireworks. She felt she needed to get involved after she was bombarded by the use of fireworks. I was very, very ill. Um, the noise was driving me to berserk. I felt like my heart was coming out of my skin every time it went up. It was late. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning and I had to get up at quarter to 5 because I have to be at work by 6. And I just stood on kicks. I got up and I said enough is enough. Something has got to be done about this. But I didn't really think it was going to take off. I just thought, well, it was just my way of venting, you know, but apparently I was wrong. It became a national issue very quickly. She believes that if regulations regarding the importation and use of fireworks are not put in place, more people would be injured and people like herself will continue to be negatively affected. I'm going up until I'm going, I'm even thinking of printing them and going to Massey stores, going out on High Street. I'm thinking of putting them into Gulf City Mall as far as I can reach. I have friends that are ready to rally with me to help me out and I think that's the way to go right now. I don't unless somebody else can come up with another suggestion for me. But. So what are the solutions being proposed? Patricia Green of the Animal Welfare Network says they have put their suggestions in a draft document and they hope to get those in authority to pay attention to what they have to say. If people are allowed to import fireworks which are substandard, that needs to be stopped. The persons who are given the task of inspecting imports as they arrive need to be better educated about what is legal here and what is not, what is acceptable and what is not. That's the first step. Andrew Abram, whose company Fire and Fireworks is a major importer of fireworks, says he also has some solutions as to what can be done. If we enjoy fireworks, the, the majority of people, but there's a certain percent in our community, maybe elderly, maybe they have pets, we need to be very considerate and we have to find a way where both parties win. So we are, we are hoping that in the near, the near future that legislation will, will be brought to Parliament where you know certain times and dates for the use of fireworks. As many of us get set to usher in the new year with a bang, let us spare a thought for others as we light up those fireworks. And to all a peaceful and happy new year. Otto Carrington reporting from the GML Enterprise Desk in Shogonas for CNC3 News.